We've just gotten our hands on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. And I can't wait to tell you all about what the currently top-tier Samsung smartphone, in terms of the minted features and design has got to offer this year. But, first, let's unbox the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, here is the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Arguably, this is the best phone yet, and, for all that we know, the S24 Ultra may be crowned the best phone for the year 2024. Now let's move on to the S24 Ultra cameras. Like last year, there's a 200 megapixel main cam, a 10 megapixel 3x zoom and a 12 megapixel ultra wide cam. But now, instead of the 10 times telephoto, there's a new 50 megapixel, 5 times zoom. Samsung calls this setup a quad telesystem, meaning you'd get optical level quality results at 2 times, 3 times, 5 times and 10 times. The 5 times telephoto in particular uses AI and allegedly some sort of an adaptive pixel sensor to get the same 10 times zoom quality as on the South 23 Ultra. This telephoto cam is also supposed to be better for nighttime shorts and videos. The pixels are 60% larger so they can absorb more light, plus there's two times wider OIS angle correction for better stability. Speaking of videos, there's the option for instant slow-mo, where AI converts your regular footage into slow motion by producing the intermediate frames. But also this year, you can record in slow MO from the get-go and 4K at 120fps. Like me, if you have noticed, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has a familiar looking design with a flat back, squared off corners and separate rings for each camera. The phone has a smooth satin-like finish. The main change is the frame, which is now made of titanium like we saw on the latest iPhone 15 Pro series. The phone has a 5000 mAh power battery like last year, and the 45W charging and wireless charging support haven't changed. And as you may have noticed while we were unboxing the S24 Ultra, you don't get a charging brick in the package. As it has been for a few years now, you basically have to get a charging brick for yourself. This year, Samsung leaves you with the option to choose your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra from either of four colors. You can choose either of black, gray, violet and yellow. Depending on your choice, whichever of the colors you may choose, you basically get the same premium feel. Of course, the S24 Ultra has full stylus support as before, and the stylus tucks away into the phone. As far as the chipset goes, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will universally use the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. No Exynos chip here like you might get on the other S24 models. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is 2024's new Android flagship chipset, and it provides better overall performance, especially when it comes to ray tracing for games. Plus, the S24 Ultra has a much larger vapor chamber than last year for better passive cooling and improved thermal management during those long gaming sessions. The chipset also brings advanced support for AI used for a better image processing as well as other AI-based features. These features are integrated within Samsung's new software suite One UI 6.1, and they're available across the S24 lineup. Just as last year's model, the S24 Ultra has a 6.8-inch QHD AMOLED screen, but all of the S24 models have LTPO tech for a more adaptive refresh rate. Their 120Hz refresh rate can dial down all the way to 24Hz or even 1Hz depending on the content, to save energy. What you might have already noticed is that the display of the S24 Ultra is flat, not curved. The screen is also protected by a new glass called Corning Gorilla Armor. Plus it has even slimmer bezels and Samsung claims the display is 40% brighter. 
This glass is supposed to be up to four times tougher against scratches and impact, and provides 75% reduced glare for even better visibility. One exciting feature is real-time two-way translation of calls within the native phone app with support for 13 languages at launch and for a face-to-face -face conversation. The phone can also perform live translation of voices and it can live translate text as well. Like on the Google Pixels, you can transcribe a conversation into text with speaker labels and the AI can then summarize that into notes for you. AI has also made its way into the Samsung keyboard. Here you can access the translator as well as chat assist which the AI can give you suggestions to rephrase your words when you're in the car. The Galaxy AI can summarize messages you received and also suggest appropriate answers based on context. Another newly minted and improved feature is the circle to search with Google feature, which is neat. You can circle or tap an image, video or text for an on-the-fly Google search. Also, Quick Share is added and makes up for a better and much improved device. The Quick Share allows you to send info between any Android device and Windows PC, and the photo editor has got some new tricks. Edit suggestions will give you recommendations on how to edit your photo for a nice result. Reflection removal uses AI to remove annoying reflections from your photos, and within a photo you can click on and move objects and even resize them for the desired effects. And as Elier mentioned, the slow-mo is a fascinating feature to try out in the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. The slow-mo feature allows you to actively capture a video in slow motion at any frame of the video. And finally, on the S24 generation, you can get a Super HDR preview on the viewfinder as well as the gallery and supported third-party apps aiming to provide more natural, brighter highlights.